and this cold and rainy weather now a concern for those people still picking up the pieces after two tornadoes touched down across the area and some affected still don't have electricity, which means there's no heat to stay warm. WDSU reporter Shay O'Connor live in Kelowna with the conditions there. Shay. Gina and Travis, the rain only intensifies the cold. I mean, the weather is absolutely dreadful in this area. Now, when we first arrived, we saw a lot of people helping each other, a lot of neighbors helping each other. But as you can see, because of all of the rain, because of the cold weather, not a lot is happening here in the Post Street area. Now, we're here in Kelowna, one of the hardest hit areas. Many who live here are, are staying at hotels right now because they still don't have electricity. And as you can see, many homes are just unlocked livable at this time. Now, many homeowners are telling me also about the runaround that they're getting from insurance companies. In addition to the cleanup efforts, a lot of people have already been impacted by Ida, including Marshilla Smith. She says she's been paying her homeowner insurance for years now, but tells me her insurance company is only covering a 14 day stay at a hotel. Her home is badly damaged, unlivable at this point. Smith says after the hotel stay expires, she doesn't know what she and her family will go. So we paying the insurance and we paying it for nothing. Why are we paying insurance? I could just let it go. I didn't think we was going to be, I didn't think it was going to be this. I just didn't. My faith in God tells you in his mysterious ways, it's just a way of bringing people together. If this doesn't bring you together, then. Now, I have reached out to the state's insurance commissioner just to see how they are helping folks who are going through this at the time at this time. Now, in the meantime, anyone who stays here in St. Charles Parish that needs help or being urged to contact the EOC. We actually have that information up on our website right now. Reporting live from Kelowna, Shay O'Connor, WDSU News.